they um, uh, did this in the walls. Now the walls were prepared specially. Okay, wherever they needed to do these paintings, they were prepared with a mixture of chalk and uh, sand and uh, coconut water also was used in the preparation of this mixture and different ratios were used and the walls were prepared in layers. Then using a charcoal stick, the, using a charcoal stick, the design was sketched on the wall. Then natural colors were used to paint. Now, how did they get the natural colors? They got the natural colors from stones. For example, the red and yellow they got from stones. The green, blue they got from leaves. Indigo leaves they got it from. Uh, the black they got by burning the lamp and collecting the soot. Like that five colors were used. Now I have a multitude of colors here. I will explain about that later on. But basically they use five colors and the sequence of using the colors also was very specific. They would start with the red color, then go on to the yellow, then the green, blue, and the black. Okay, so white was not used. Whatever white you see in those murals is the white of the wall. But here, if you see, I have white because sometimes as we are painting, we make mistakes and we correct it. But otherwise, even I don't use white. This is just for emergencies. Now the colors, as I said, the sequence goes from red, yellow, green, blue, and black. Okay, so these are the colors that were traditionally used. Brushes that were used were made from grass. And then later on, they were made from animal hair. Squirrel hair brushes were very common. But uh, now these animal hair brushes are banned. So we don't use them. Coming to the uh, current time period, what we are using is canvas, different forms of canvas. You can use canvas rolls, canvas boards, framed canvas. I have some examples. Now, this is a canvas board that I have. So I have these done. Now, these are just examples. These are small size canvas boards. So these are there. Then you have the stretch canvas, which comes in the form, which is actually a framed canvas. It comes stretch on a frame. So you can use this now again, these, these come in a lot of shapes and sizes. So you have a lot of options. Then you have the plain canvas. You can get those in the form of sheets or rolls. You can use those. Other materials that people are nowadays they're using are the MDF products, okay, like these. They're using terracotta. For these, you have to prepare them with white and then start painting. So uh, that is one option you have. The other thing that they're doing is that painting Kerala murals on clothes. Now, I'm not going into whether it is correct or wrong, but personally, I do not do that because Kerala murals for me is connected with divinity. And I do not uh, do them on wearable clothes. Okay, so that is one thing I don't do. But yes, people are doing that. So that is an option. Now, Kerala, Kerala mural have the, and the uh, paints that I use. I use acrylic paints. Okay, we have uh, different brands. I do not support any one brand. The colors are very easily available in your local stationeries. So uh, I, these I have just for an example, you can use either bottle one or the tube one. It doesn't make a difference. Uh, these are just examples of what uh, uh, you can use. So brand doesn't really affect the one, but yes, you do need good quality. Okay, so I have both. I use both uh, tubes and uh, the bottles. The colors that we use are red, green, yellow, black, and blue. Now, uh, as I was taught by my teachers, I mix and uh, get the shade closest to the natural colors and then use. So uh, when I mix all these colors, I get five shades and I use that. Newer artists, you know, they've started because we have such a lot of range in acrylic colors available now. So they started using more colors. They've started using pink, purple, different shades of blue, different shades of green, different shades of uh, yellow. But uh, most of my paintings, I would say 80 to 90% of my paintings, I follow the traditional five colors. Okay, I might experiment once in a while with different colors, but especially for these classes and master classes, I always follow the traditional way.
and brushes again i do not follow any particular brand i use camlin i use fine art i use western whatever is locally available just uh, it should be compatible with your acrylic paints okay this is as much as the materials required okay <clears throat> excuse me for a minute <laughs> Sorry for that. So now coming on to a design part of the whole thing. Uh, now Kerala murals, they are based on the uh, shlokas. So these Dehan shlokas basically depict or describe the whole painting. Uh, we have somebody who has their audio on. Could you please mute your microphone? Okay, so uh, we have uh, the, descri the description of the paintings in the Dhyan Shlokas. And that is why you don't see too much of a range of, uh, you know, different uh, styles. You see many of the themes being repeated in Kerala murals. But every artist will give a different interpretation. So these Shlokas, they describe the whole picture as such. They describe the main deity, which is there. They describe the accompanying figures or deities there are. They describe the, uh, maybe say the background, the flora, the animal surrounding, the color of the body, the position of the hands, a lot of things like that. Now that's a very vast subject, so I won't go into that here. But Kerala mural uh, paintings have scenes of both gods, goddesses in them. And they have scenes wherein animals, nature is recreated. So you have plants, you have uh, animals, you have birds, you have fishes, you have uh, trees, different things, okay? So uh, that is about the Kerala murals. Now the most common designs in Kerala murals, I will start with the two most common, which I start with in every class. And then I will go on to using those for uh, say the jewelry designs or something else, which you can see in the murals. Okay, so the first one that we have is the Mani Mala. Okay, if in, uh, I move out of the camera or something, just let me know because sometimes I'm too focused on doing the work. Okay, now the Mani Mala is a very simple design and it is very, very common. All the jewelry, all the uh, motifs start with this. It is basically work like this okay it has a curve it has a downward stroke and then there's a dot at the end okay so when you're doing it don't do like this this is not there then don't do like this also go evenly think of writing a n or a m and then you're there. Now with pencil, this uh, design will not look as smoothly done as when you do with a brush. With a brush, it comes out more even. Okay, so this is something which is very, very fundamental. This is used for the border also. This is used for surrounding the figure. If you don't want to do, do too much of a detailing in the background and you want to separate your figure with the background, you can use this. Then this is used in the jewelry as I will be showing you now. And the other one that is there is a design wherein you have four lines. Now it can be in a circle or it can be straight. So when you're doing it in a straight way, now this is a very, very zoomed in version of it to show it to you, when you have it in uh, straight lines, there are four parallel lines. And these lines divide this into three sections, one, two, and three. When you're coloring, this sec number one will be colored, the third section will be colored, and the second section will be left white, okay? And there'll be intersecting lines in this middle section. So when I show you the jewelry, you will see 
how common this is. I will show you some pictures wherein these designs are there. The other way to do this in a concentric circle. Again, this is a very enlarged version of my of the design to make it more visible. Okay. Again, the middle section will have these concentric lines and it will be left white. I will show you the examples now. So these two are very, very fundamental. So when we come to our design, If you can see the uh, jewelry at the waist, it has this four lines, it has the mani mala, even the central design here. Now this is known as a nayaka mani, that also will have the same thing, okay? This is just one example wherein I've not, I actually haven't used a lot of the whole jewelry work. Let me share something. Okay, this is one of our last master classes. If you can see here, the jewelry has the mani mala design all over it. Okay, the necklace has uh, the uh, same design. The crown part has the same design. The wrist ornaments, the leg anklets. So it, even the clothes have the same thing. Okay, so this is very, very uh, common. Now, uh, seeing this picture, I'm reminded of another thing. Now, the shading is done in three, four methods in Kerala murus. If you see the background, you can see that it's very speckled. Okay, this was the stippling method that I taught in the class. So this is something that we uh, is done. There is a method, if you see the body here, it is just shaded one. So this is one method that we do. Stippling is the other. The other method that we have is creating strokes and uh, doing the uh, shading. Uh, let me show you an example of the stroke method. See, if you can see the body here, the whole entire shading has been done using strokes. Okay. And the background also has the strokes. So this is another way of coloring and uh, like in my master classes, I try to teach different versions every uh, class. So uh, that is one. Now coming on to uh, the designs that we had there. So using this uh, Mani Mala and this design, we will first create a Nayaka Mani. Okay. Now Nayaka Mani is one ornament that figures a lot in the jewelry. Okay, so we will use the same thing wherein we have, let me zoom in a bit so that you can see this. Now, the my way of drawing is a little different because I keep doing this, but as you're all are beginners, I'll just explain how you can get the perfect symmetry. Okay, so first draw this four, concentric circles. Now, depending on my design, the sizes will change. So if my uh, figure is a lot bigger, then I have bigger motifs. When it is small, I have smaller motifs. So they, I'm not giving any measurements for this currently. Okay, then you just draw a rough, circle as a guideline, a little way off around the same central lines. Okay, this is just to guide us. Okay, after we finish the main design, we can erase this outer circle. Then you mark four points. You have four segments. Now, when you want to do the middle areas, you need to make the Mani Mala, uh, I would say symmetrical or equal. So ma mark some points which are equally placed, okay? So I'll be using three points. 
So when you have three points here, make sure that you have three each in all quadrants. Okay, that will just give you uniformity of your design. Okay, you can have two also if your diacomony uh, is smaller. Okay, so uh, then. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, we will start with the money mala, and then we have the design which comes at the four co corners. Okay, so this is Okay, the four are done. And now going into the Manimala part. Okay, so when you're doing this, don't be in a hurry, just go slow. And you should get even sections okay so this becomes your naikamani then the same thing that we did earlier the middle portion will have the concentric lines now the painting part i will not be taking in this because it takes more than an hour okay so i cannot teach the motives and the process also it takes quite a long time to do both uh, because as I said, the sequence is there. First, I have to start with the yellow, uh, sorry, the red. I have to do everything in red, then I have to do in yellow. Then again, I have to follow with the red shading, then green, then blue, like that, so on. So we won't do that. The motives are here. I'm showing you the easy way of doing the motives. So practice these as much as you can. It will make uh, your further work more easy. Uh, so I just see some of your works and see if you uh, want any questions answered. Yes, um, Pooja, can you please show your work? Uh, unmute yourself, please. Is this okay? Uh, it's not very visible. Uh, yes. Okay. Now the thing that you are doing is, let me just go back to my screen. Yeah. See, what you are doing is you started your uh, Manimala design from the circle. Oh, okay. Yeah. Don't do that. This okay. part of the circle should come on the line. Okay. 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 The uh -huh. other thing is this should be more bigger, this uh -huh. particular motif. And it should, you know, be equal on all four sides. Okay. So when you do your Manimala, it comes like this. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so a, a little bit more practice and you should be fine. Uh, otherwise it is good enough. Uh, okay. Anybody else? Uh, Sudiksha, would you like to show? Ma'am, I'm not yet finished. No problem, as much as you have done. Whatever uh, you have done. One minute. Sure. I'll come back to you then. Okay, uh, anybody else? Kaveri, we have Padmini. All up so attentively doing it. Can you please somebody show? Yes, Kaveri, I'll come back, come to you. Yes, uh, great. Kaveri, uh, why is your design upside down? <laughs> okay, showing it up. <laughs> okay, so what I would again suggest is the same thing that I uh, told Pooja practice this first. Wait, let me put on this. 
I took the first lecture of drawing. Uh, sorry. I didn't know about the drawings. Okay, no problem, no problem. We are going slow. We are going the, because this is a beginner level batch, so we are going very slow. Don't worry, I can always repeat everything. So uh, first, practice this. Okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Please check mine. Just one um, minute. Let me uh, just you know, I'll come to all. Okay, just practice this first, all of you, and. then combine this with the mani mala and try to do it don't be in a hurry we have loads of time uh, okay so who was that uh, just now who wanted to show lavanya lavanya okay lavanya just let me get to your screen just one minute okay so yes uh, your design is good but again as i said to uh, to pooja the outer line don't keep your motifs too outside okay okay so basically if this is your circle okay wait let me go back to my okay if you are going if you if this is your outer circle so start with this like this okay okay what all of you are doing is like you have this circle here and you're going above right you're doing this don't do this try this way okay it this will give you a nice symmetrical circle motif okay and uh, you can practice like this also it will help you um uh, anybody else yes sorry this is mili ma'am can you can you see mine yes just one ma'am can you see mine uh, i'll i'll come to you after mili just one okay. minute great mani mala is all good the uh, the mani mala on the lower part the second mani mala with fewer uh, strokes is very good so you can do that again uh, yes and your motifs have come out well uh, and one more thing i wanted to tell lavanya uh, and the others also the, these you don't go beyond 3 okay if your uh, size is bigger you can try for 3 but normally when i'm doing smaller versions i just go in for 2 the, these sections you know I, here i have 3 but normally i am happy with 2 i don't want to make it too congested i want there to be a gap so that the whole design is seen okay so uh, if you have too many of these in between you know your whole design will become too congested so avoid that uh, as far as possible keep it between two or three three is the maximum then the other thing is make this very clear this make it a little bigger than what you're doing here so that this is more prominent go slow the other thing that you need to pay attention is however many sections you have here the same number should be on all sides okay uh, who else was wanted to show just tell me your name please shivangi yeah shivang coming to you okay again uh, yes the same issue with your uh, nayakamani too many sections in between and you have done it above the line and you have done the central part and the outer part too far off okay don't keep that much gap now i'll take a minute of your time all of you for a minute and i'll show you a uh, nayakamani in one of my paintings okay let us go with lakshmi Can you see the one in the center? Can you see this in the center necklace? This is yeah. what I'm talking about. So you, if you see this, you can see the whole design being repeated so many times. The lines, the nayakamani, uh, the mani mala. Okay, 
so and that that uh, difference in color and all it gives real beauty to your picture so if you can see even the crown we have the same things okay so this is again if you see the crown we have the nayak uh, sorry the mani mala in the external area and the outer edges that it is either one or three circles right? the where this uh, this before, outer circle no uh, the edges the four edges corners the one which we drew it is mm -hmm. either one sir one uh, spiral or it is three spiral is it like that uh, uh, who who is speaking can you just aishwarya aishwarya just uh, hold on for a minute i'll come to your screen okay and you can show me because i'm not getting what you're trying to ask me okay so this one the swirl that we do yeah. mm -hmm. is, so it is always either one or three right uh, because in the your painting i saw it is one yes that is a different motif that is a different motif okay, okay. Uh, we have uh, one uh, the simple motif called as mashipuvu that is a different thing uh, nayakamani this this one that i'm showing you is a nayakamani i will now show okay. you a, a, a different mani mashipuvu also is drawn a little differently than this one it's not the same thing okay, okay. then uh, nayakamani i will show you another version where it is a semi circle i'll do this after uh, after this so anybody else we have who wants to ask me ma'am i arya okay arya uh, i'll spotlight your work now can you move it a little to your left left to your left the other way it's a little off screen for me more more to the side wait okay um the same thing that i told others your uh, mani mala sections are too many reduce them uh, and then it will be good uh, again you need to practice a little more for the mani mala okay more symmetry is required okay so try uh, some more times now all of you we have a conversation for today's workshop so if anybody wants to draw again and share with me then uh, one yes i am finished just okay uh, let me just finish a minute so we have a conversation for today's workshop in the bit class app if anybody wants to do it afterwards and share and get my review please share there and i will uh, answer your questions there also so Hello, Harini, I'm coming to you right now. Mom, I want to show mine. Yes, I will come to you, dear. So yes, Harini, yours has come out really well. Uh, just keep the gap between the outer design and the inner concentric circles a little more closer, and it should be fine. Uh, just practice a little okay. more. Okay, uh, practice the mani mala okay. a little more. Then I finished. Then uh, I'm finished. please tell me your names uh, it's really difficult to spandana sorry i'm padmini spandana spandana your video is off i can't see anything uh, rarika right i, I hope i'm yes, not going to rise right rarika okay um yes so, your animal is coming out good but still you know you need to practice a little more Uh, otherwise you okay, you have got the concept of the whole thing okay, okay. then pandana okay spandana you need to work on your mani mala a little bit and uh, say, uh, the uh, number of uh, sections in each quadrant should be the same that's the difference is there now uh, janaranjani uh, you wanted to ask something please switch on your screen 
Mom, I want to show him Shivani. Shivani? Okay, just wait. Shivani, Shivani, Shivani. Okay. Okay, good. Good. You're doing very well. Uh, the the three Ma design the three swirl mm -hmm. design that we have just little uh, increase the size and the money mala decrease the size okay little bit because uh, the proportion is different okay, okay otherwise it is good okay we have janar injini yeah yes dear padmini sorry padmini want to show ma'am yes let me just come to you Wow, very well done, dear. Very well done. Just practice a little more, okay? Okay, ma'am. What's your age? 11, ma'am. Great, great. Uh, I'm having a lot of students joining my batches and I'm really happy. So I had some uh, who were 11 and 9 years old students in my last batches. Great. So who else was there? Can you please tell me your name? Averi. Okay, Kaveri, uh, yes, uh, better, better, much better, but still you need a little more practice, okay? Uh, guys, one by one and please mute yourself and not needed, it will be great, guys. Yes, uh, Lavanya? Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, Lavanya, you, you have got the concept actually. Uh, okay. You just need a little more practice. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Ma ma one more support. thing, ma'am. Yes. My eight-year-old daughter is trying. Oh, great, great. Okay, great. Now, as I said, again, the uh, Manimala, just decrease them. Okay. And the central circles should be more smaller. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Okay? okay. So, uh, great, great, great to see Thank you. that also. Thank Anybody you. Anybody else? Ma'am, can I? Uh, please let me know your name. I'm Sorry? I'm Parniksha. Okay, so, uh, Sudiksha. Uh, first, yes, I'll go to Parnika and then I'll come to you. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, can I show you? Just one minute. Let me finish okay. with these. Very well done. Very well done. Good. You have got it in one go. Very nice. Thank you. So, now we have uh, Sudiksha, so, right? Yes, ma'am. I... See, uh, I'm not seeing the videos on for them. The only videos that I'm seeing, uh, you'll have to switch on your videos when you want to, me to see. Yeah, so Diksha. Yes, show me. Yes. Yes, much better. You still have to practice. Okay, just practice a little more. Okay, guys, those who have shown already, please don't. Uh, please wait for the others to also show. You know. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Uh, I, this side. Ma'am, I did. I, I'll come to you. Again, the same thing that I told the others. Draw inside the circle. That way, you will get uh, the distance between the central four circles and the outer circle design will become little less and it'll come out very well. And try to maintain the shape of the circle. Okay, the bottom design has come into a square kind of a design. So, it's trying to, uh, you know, it goes it's okay. It, it will require practice. Definitely will require practice. So, don't worry. Don't get uh, upset that in one. Uh, drawing uh, class you haven't been, been able to do. I've been drawing for many years. I still make mistakes. So don't worry about it. Just practice. Practice makes perfect. So Adi Dev, right? Yes, ma'am. Can you see me? Yes, just one minute. Dear. Yes. Uh, okay, you have got the concept. But again, as I said, the number of uh, sections for the Manimala, just decrease them a little bit. They are too many in there and they're congesting your design. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Uh, just decrease those a little and you, you can uh, you can post on the conversation after the class also. I can correct there also, no issues. Okay, ma'am. Uh, who else would like to show? Padmini. Yes, ma'am. 
Okay. The same thing that I'm telling others, Padmini, draw within the circle, that guiding circle on the outside, right? Try to draw within that. That what that will give you is that will the outer edges of the motif will come all in a nice proportion. When you keep the circle inside, your outer uh, part is, wait, let me uh, go on to my uh, design. See, my guiding circle line is here. Okay. What that does is that gives me a good proportion of where my outer lines should come. When you keep your guiding circle around here, this gets disturbed. Okay. So just try to maintain that and you'll be doing fine. Okay. Uh, I have a few questions in the chat box. Uh, Shiv Darshini, uh, uh, at the end of this class, we'll let you know how to join the master classes and all. Uh, currently, let us finish with this. Pooja Bharat, the, drawing the face is a slightly bigger procedure which can't be fitted into one hour. So sorry, uh, we are just starting with what we can do in one hour. Okay. Uh, now, uh, the measurement uh, in Kerala murals, I forgot to tell this and I'm really sorry, is done with uh, particular measurements, okay? Everything has a measurement. Now, uh, when you count that, uh, when you see that, the measurements are done in the denominator of Tala and Angula. We have a scale called the Angula scale that we use for the measurements when we're doing the sketches. And uh, one Angula is a finger width. Angula basically means a finger width. Okay. So when you're doing the measurements, one Tala is, will be equal to 12 Angula. Okay. So this is the basic measurement that we have. Now the figures vary. Okay, so you, uh, when you have children, it is a little lesser. When you have uh, a couple of figures, there are there which are more than uh, like around 10 angula, but normally um, it goes to around uh, nine angula, uh, sorry, nine tala. The figures are measured. That is just a little bit about the measurement. I'm not going into too much of detail because it's a big subject. Sorry for that. Uh, I'm just recovering from COVID, so my throat is all gone. <clears throat> okay. So uh, I hope these a couple of uh, the motives that we did are very clear to all of you. Okay. So we'll proceed on to the uh, jewelry part. The jewelry that I showed you in the uh, Krishna picture that we had for a few months, I think December masterclass it was. Now it is a very simple fi uh, uh, necklace design okay now the earrings are usually quite big so suppose we have a nayakamani design here and here for the earring i think for my uh, krishna i had nayakamani okay this is the face part wherein Now, for the necklace, we start with the four lines first. Now, since I'm doing this to show my lines are a little more further apart than I would like them, I would. Uh, in actuality, when I'm doing this size sketch, I like them a little more closer, okay? But since I have to show on screen, on camera, I'm keeping them a little far off. The middle line, as I said, will have these sections, okay? Then we come to the next uh, part of the design wherein we have the money mala. Now, for this, I'm just drawing this as a rough outline. You, I normally don't do this. I directly go on and draw my design. But to show it to you, because I want that shape to come, we are, this is the simplest necklace that I'm showing you, okay? 
the same thing that we did for the Nayaka money. Okay, the most simplest design you can do. Okay, any doubts in this? It should be very easy after you've done the Nayaka mini. Mom, I have a doubt. Yes, dear. Let me know your name. I'll just come on. Shivani. Okay, Shivani. Yes, Shivani. Is there any particular name for this? No, there's no name. Okay, uh, there might be because uh, I've, uh, like, see, uh, the Kerala mural itself is a five year long course in Guru Vayur. So I am not that much of an expert, but according to what I know, I don't think it has any name. Uh, basically, in murals, all the ornaments have different names. Okay. So, uh, but those traditional names, I can never pronounce them also. So I would say don't go into too much of depth there. Just practice getting the designs right. If I get to know, I'll certainly share it with you. So there are multiple uh, ornaments there are, um, but I'm not sure of the name right now. Uh, other than that, any doubts in this? Okay. Ma'am, about the ornament, you have uh, drawn one thing now. Uh, it looks like a lip. Is yes, that's the face. The face okay. will come here. I didn't want to go into the whole uh, face and proportion thing, you know. So I'm just drawing the necklace. These will be the earrings. Okay. Uh, so to avoid confusion, let me show the design that we did so you'll get a better idea. Can you see this necklace here? And this is yes, the earring yes. that I, I uh, did. So this is something that I'm, I'm recreating for your, uh, for this workshop. Okay. okay. Then we uh, Sorry, any question? No, ma'am. Okay. Then we come on to something using the same thing for the arm ornaments. Okay. When we have the hands, we follow the same thing. Now the, these are seen sideways, so the the lines are a little more convergent on this part. Okay, the same thing we follow the central four line sequence, and then the kadas you can either have one swirl or you can either go with one swirl or you can go with this. Okay. So I'm going with the one swirl thing for her, this one. Okay, so the kada. This is another uh, thing that you have uh, very uh, commonly for the wrist and the feet. Uh, apart from this, you have a simple one wherein just wherein you just have the single one. Now, this also is another Kada design that we have. Okay. Any uh, other questions you guys have? Okay, uh, 
from all the people who have their spotlights abhi uh, you haven't spoken a word and but i see that you're doing with me can you please uh, tell me if you like the class what you're doing okay i think um, probably not audible uh, no okay. ma'am you are Any- audible okay i'm audible great great yes ma'am okay anybody else i uh, there are not a lot of people who have their uh, videos on you know so yes. smita yes smita i can just see you see the, the only way you can show me your work is switching on your cameras you know and showing it to me yes smita you have got the concept right uh, but you need you all need a pra- practice your uh, manimala and the swirls okay otherwise you it's coming out very well okay okay thank uh, you great great and we have uh, sorry spandana ma'am spandana okay just one minute yes spandana uh, you have got the design but again i think you need practice okay just try to draw slowly when you draw your, it's just one minute when you draw your lines also you no know, just try to draw them very slowly and you will get and try to keep them uh, like parallel okay then you will get uh, the whole design otherwise it's going well uh, who else i am bhavani sorry ma'am shivangi here shivangi shivani or shivangi shivangi uh okay just one yes okay you have got the concept but again uh, you need to practice your manimala so if if you see the manimala on the top that you have done it's so um yeah uh, equal okay but at the bottom if you see your outer edges are all uh, upside down like some are beyond uh, going you know way out some are inside so uh, the way i uh, showed you know drawing that rough line draw that rough line and then do that and it will come into proportion okay okay ma'am okay ma'am you are stuck for me sorry and nothing miss ma'am uh, can you show that uh, uh, the arm are pen ah okay mom i want to show my shivani shivani okay wait yes yeah, shivani you are getting it just practice a little more and you'll get it excuse me ma'am lavanya thank you okay. ma'am okay just lavanya just one minute lavanya sure yes great great uh, you just need to keep your proportion of the manimala a little bit more uh, symmetrical on both sides and you're getting it and the three swirls that you have done in the middle you know try to keep them oh sorry i'm doing something else keep them in midline okay let okay. me just wait Mummy, you have to spotlight your camera. Yeah, yeah, I'm actually searching okay. for that. Okay, <laughs> okay, just let me know. I will do it. Yeah, sometimes it gets confusing. Okay, just keep, yeah. try to keep them in between mm. when you're doing, so okay. that your proportion comes. The central, if your central swirl is in proportion, then your okay. whole design comes into focus. Okay. okay. Unless and until you have a figure which is facing sideways, then it changes. Okay. Until facing figure. just a little uh, work you know uh, mm. even when we are drawing sketches that is the first thing i do like, to mark it mm. so that's a basic thing mm. anybody abhi you want to show yeah ma'am 
ओके मैम आई हैव डेड ग्रेट ग्रेट यस ओके अभी नाउ अभी फॉर योर नेकलेस यू नो जस्ट इन प्लीज हर्षल कैन यू स्पॉटलाइट माय कैमरा प्लीज so when you're doing the necklace this okay. part should be this part should be more and this should be less ah, okay? okay okay so you're okay. kind of getting a cons- uh, a slightly uh, oval shape ah okay. okay for you all the areas are same so this is appearing too tight ah okay okay this should okay. appear looser so ah. you know, that if you just shape that because even if you play see the recording of this video also later on Oh. if you see the part where i drew the circle there was more gap here than this part oh okay so just just uh, see that again and practice okay okay anybody else ma'am bhavani here ma'am uh, i'm just, uh, trying to show my uh, work piece uh, bhavani is one by yeah, one ma'am. please yeah bhavani okay. here i am trying to search yeah okay got it yeah sorry yeah, there's so many people i really really get confused so it takes me yeah, a little this time is mine. yeah Okay. Ma'am, I can only see yours. Ah, uh, I can see. Ba, uh, it's spotlighted. Oh. Bhavani is spotlighted. Yeah. Yes, Bhavani. It's good. It's good. Again, Thank practice, you. and you'll get the whole proportion part of it. Coming sure. to Kaveri. Thank you, ma'am. Ma'am, can yes. you see? Yes. Just one minute. Ka- Kaveri, it's good. Again, as I said, practice a little more, and you'll get it. then who else please let me know your Ma'am. name adi dev adi dev okay i'm trying to search excuse me ma'am ma'am mohan lakshmi ma'am i'll come to you just give me a minute please yeah okay ma'am yes adi again you're doing very well but practice okay just practice the swirls and you'll get it so uh Sorry, who was that before? Uh, just Mohan Lakshmi. Mohan Lakshmi, ma'am. Mohan Lakshmi. I'm Janaranjini. Okay, Mohan uh, Janaranjini. I'll come out to you after Mohan. Sorry, I'm Lakshmi, sorry, sorry, ma'am. ma'am. You can call me as Lakshmi. Uh, guys, give yeah. me a minute, ma'am. Can you please make me the host? Harshal Bitkla is the host. Yeah, please I think I did. The host. I no, did. No, you are the host right now. So okay, Harshal okay. Bitkla is written. Can you please make me the host? I'll do that. Just one. Yeah. I'm not getting that option actually. I. Ah, uh, your second camera have that option, on which audio is not on. Oh, okay. Then I have to remove it. Just hold. Go oh, okay, cost okay done. Okay, so yes, uh, you are getting it well, but I would certainly suggest you practice again because your uh, manimala is not in shape. Do the rough outline. 